But you do remember a conversation you had with him on the phone where he was talking about suing lawyers, right? Yes. And what day was that? In the year he was suing the lawyers. Can you be more precise? And it was, you know, more than eight years ago or seven years ago. It was a long time ago, so no, I can't be more precise. And you were on your cell phone or in your office phone or what? Uh, in my office. Did you take notes of this conversation? No. Did you think you should have taken some notes? No. Did you record the conversation? No. And how long did the conversation last? Uh, you know, he's pretty talkative. I don't know. Hour? Two hours? No. Was anybody else on the call with you? No. Just you and Mr. Hasse? Yes. Friendly conversation or antagonistic? Friendly. Okay. So he's talking to you about a conspiracy theory? He, he, he is a conspiracy theorist, and so he is definitely trying to link together the conspiracy of everybody involved. When you say he's a conspiracy theorist, right. you are describing him, or is that part of the conversation? I'm describing him. And that's just your characterization of your former client? Correct. And anybody that sues you, you consider to be a conspiracy theorist? No. How many times have you been sued legitimately? Um, I don't know if this is the only one. I, I know I've never, I've never paid any money. If anybody sued me, I've never paid any money. The firm may have been sued. That's why I'm fuzzy. I don't know if I've ever been sued individually. But the firm's been around for a long time. Well, no, no, no. When you're involved in a case and the firm gets sued and the firm pays, mm -hmm. do you consider that a legitimate suit against you? And the, if, I'm, if I'm against... Say that one more time so I can follow it. I'm just trying to see what you're trying to tell me. You said, I've never paid any money in a lawsuit. Right. Right? In all the cases that people right. have sued you. I've never written a check. You personally have never written a check. Correct. But your firm might have for those same things that you're involved in, right? I don't know. The answer is the firm has never written a check. An insurance company has never written a check for anything I've done, ever. Insurance company? I thought you don't have insurance malpractice. You, uh, on your disclosure, you haven't, you haven't never, I don't even know if you've answered disclosures, but you're certainly required to say if there's an insuring agreement, right? If there's an insuring agreement that covers this, this in incident. Well, no, if you have insurance, whatever the rules insuring say, agreement. I, I, don't, I don't agree with you, but I'm telling you, we have not invoked insurance in this case. I didn't ask you if you invoked. Is there an insuring agreement? I don't know. Do you have malpractice insurance? At what point in time? From 2005 to today. I'm sure we did. You, Mr. Sorrells, do you have malpractice insurance for you uh, the as firm, an individual? The firm would cover me. The firm would cover me? Who's it with? The firm, I don't know. So it is fair to say in the last six years, you have never d produced a copy of an insurance policy that insures you for malpractice, right? That's fair to say. Okay. Uh, and you are aware that a request for disclosure has gone out in this case, right? I'm not. Well, you are aware that you're required to produce that if you haven't. I'm not aware of that. You're not aware of that? Did you have such a policy in place in 2011? Probably so. 2012? Probably so. 2013? Probably so. 2014? Probably so. 2015? Probably so. 2016? Probably so. 2017? Probably so. As we sit here in 2018? Uh, probably so. Has the policy changed? Probably you changed so. Changed carriers? Probably so. Do you know? I don't know. But Aren't you the so. manager of this law firm? I'm the managing partner of the firm. And you don't know about your malpractice carriage for the firm? You say has the carrier changed? I said probably so. I just don't know. So in the last eight years, you don't know if your firm has ever changed its malpractice carriage? I don't know if change. I don't know if we changed carriers. That's right. Who would know? Um, whoever controls the documents. Have you been managing partner of this firm since 2011? Yes. In that entire time, you don't know if, if you've changed carrier. agreed to change the carrier? Correct. I don't know if we've had the same carrier or how long we've had the same carrier is a better way to say it. Well, were you involved in changing carriers at any point in time since you've been here? We've changed carriers. When did you do that? I don't know. You don't have a memory of that at all? No. And why would you not produce a copy of an insuring agreement as required by the request for disclosure? Well, I don't agree with your question. Well, tell me why you don't agree with it. Uh, if we choose not to invoke insurance, then it's not applicable. It would be, it, it be... Oh, really, that's your theory on not producing documents and disclosure? 
Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Why not? Because it's, it's, a, it's a harassing question. You're instructing yourself not to answer? Uh, you know you're harassing me. I'm not harassing. I, just, I think it's incredible that you think you can pick and choose when you produce documents. Okay. It's and you're harassing. running for state bar president, right? It's harassing. You yeah. want to lead the bar, and yet in your own personal case, you want to hide documents. True? Okay. I'm going to end the deposition now. I appreciate your time. Is there anything else you want to ask that's not harassing? In the depo? Yes, sir. On what basis? Uh, you're harassing me. You feel like you're harassed? Okay. Do you have any other questions you want to ask I asked, me? do you feel like you're being harassed? Yes, sir. And why is that? Uh, because of the, the tone of your comment. I'll let the judge decide. Do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Because I've got gonna, lots of questions. Today. I'm going to end the deposition now. Unless you're you going to stop the depo? Yes, sir. On what basis? Because you're harassing me. How am I harassing you? Okay. Do you have any other questions you want to ask me? I have many questions. Right. You didn't want to give this depo, right? Okay. You've resisted it. So now you want to halt it because you have some bar event that you want to go to today that I've already said I would accommodate you? That's what you're doing? Okay, deposition's over. Is it? Are you going to walk out? Yes, sir. We'll I think, go. why don't we just wait and call the judge? Uh, we can have, have the judge read the transcript. Why don't we just wait and call the judge and see if you can, because we can get him on the phone. I'm sure he's very accommodated. I, I, I'd like the judge to see the video and see the tone of your question. And the see tone you, of my question? Yes, and how I'm you're I'm asking, asking you questions about the production of an insurance policy that you're required to give me. You also told the judge last week you had not a single document at all to give me, right? And yet you attached documents to a motion for summary judgment in the last seven years, haven't you? So the surprising question to you is where did you get those documents to attach to a summary judgment? You want to help me with that one? Okay, deficit is over. You're not going to answer that question? How did you get documents to attach to a summary judgment? Call the judge. I'm not ending this depot. I'm staying on the record and I'm calling this judge. He is not just going to walk out of a depot.